a great lesson taught to me by two wonderful women from Savannah, Georgia, a young woman, Harriet Green, and an elder, Miss Evelyn Daniels, when they came to me and asked for assistance to address the health impacts that they were seeing in their community as a result of them living near and around 17 industries. And these two women came and said, we need your help because we are sick and tired of dying and sick and tired of being sick. What can you do to help us? And I got kind of dumbfounded. I was like, I don't know. What, what can we do? And they said, you have to do something. And that was my introduction to fighting for environmental justice. Working with this small community of less than 300 people to find out how their community had been impacted over some 50 years by air pollution and what could be done about it. So my aha moment was when we had our first house meeting and I listened to residents tell their story and then I had to think, well, how are we going to do this? And we decided that we were going to pull together a group of people from many, many different backgrounds, from community, from government, and we were gonna do the impossible. We were gonna bring business to the table, industry to the table. And when we did, the industry said, these people are too revolutionary, we are not gonna work with them. But through our persistence and our diligent work with the residents of Hudson Hill and Savannah, Georgia, we were able to create a consortium of diversified stakeholders that put their mind to it, put the metal to the pedal, and we have since come up with solutions to help that small, little, cancer-filled community in Savannah. A lot of times we are so passionate and so angry about what's going on, and if it doesn't happen overnight, we are ready to fold and run and then continue to accept conditions as they are. But in the envir environmental justice world, we have learned that you have to stay until the change come. There is a song that we always sang, ain't gonna let nobody turn me round, turn me round, turn me round, ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. We're gonna keep on a walking, keep on a talking until we win. So it may take five months, five years, 15 years, 20 years, and some of us have been on this case for 30 years, but we're seeing change. We're passing on a legacy to the younger generation that armed with information, armed with technology, and armed and armed with each other, you will actually win and see a definite qualitative change in your neighborhood, in your community, and indeed in our country.